Hello to you all. This is Aroma Broadcasting Network News. I'm Thomas Kamblat with the news. The Aroma Agriculture and Natural Resource Bureau announced that efforts are being made to maximize agricultural productivity in this harvest year. The Bureau has discussed with stakeholders offices about this year's performance and next year's plan. Here is Akhil Gwabu for the tell. The Oromi Agriculture and the Natural Resources Bureau has held discussion with sectors that have direct contact to the Bureau on 2017-18 work performance and 2018-19 work direction. A report presented on the event revealed that 2017-18 agricultural works have shown progress but scarcity of fertilizers and selected seeds have hindered the overall works of the agriculture sector. With the rank of Vice President Head of the Oromi Agriculture and Natural Resources Bureau, Dabadabali said works are underway to largely distribute pesticides, herbicides and fertilizers to maximize product and productivity across the region. Ramon Adada, Balinani, Minan, can Omshuma Garibuso Dandan. Insects and rusting reduces product and productivity. To prevent it, we have been importing pesticides and herbicides and anti-rust chemicals in large amount. So as an agriculture and natural resource bureau, the necessary preparation has been completed for the upcoming agriculture season. It was said that farmers should use their indigenous knowledge and agriculture experts' advice to maximize productivity. Farmers of Libanjawi district of Weishwa Zone are reportedly utilizing new agricultural technologies and are increasing productivity. I'll go on to the detail. Libanjawi district is one of the most known by the production of teff from West Shoadon districts. The farmers of the district are sowing teff by using new technologies. The farmers said sowing in row is better than dispersal sowing. Previously we were using dispersal sowing and it didn't benefit us because the seeds couldn't properly mix up with the fertilizer. But when you sow in row you will benefit a lot. You will also save your fertilizer and seed from misusing. We understand that sowing in row is better than sowing in dispersa. It will benefit us a lot. That's why we prefer it. The government is helping us through providing us a better awareness by the experts. We are also very happy by it. Some experts of agriculture also said sowing in row will benefit farmers. Sowing in row will benefit our farmers in many perspectives. First, it would maximize their productivity. Second, it will save fertilizer. Thirdly, it will make seeds and vegetables to understand each other. The other is it will help to protect seeds weeds easily. Generally, it will help to increase quality productivity. The farmers also call up on all farmers of the country to share their best experiences of sowing in row. Vice Head of Liban Jawi Agriculture and Natural Resource Office Shimal Spekala said in the district only 17,000 hectares of land is being collected with various types of seeds. From those hectares of land, more than 18% has been covered making use modern agricultural technologies. Our farmers' demand is increasing from time to time. This can help us to achieve more than our plan. Shimal decided the sector is working to fill the problem of supply in agricultural technologies. The Minister of Health announced that the number of Ethiopian mothers breastfeeding their child under age of six months are below 60%. Breastfeeding day is being marked in Ethiopia. Let us trace the story. World Breastfeeding Week has been celebrated in Fifine City for 10th round at Alert Hospital under the theme Breastfeeding is the Foundation of Life. Documents show that breastfeeding plays key role in preventing disease from babies and serve them as a balanced diet. Feeding babies their mothers breast till 6 months from their birth is best for their future. Director of the Children's Diet and Healthcare Directorate with Ministry of Health, Brara Mellesset, 
feeding has reached about 58 percent in the country. The director stressed the need to give due attention for the case. After work with the emphasis to scale up the percentage of carrying breastfeeding as much as possible. To reverse the situation, the Ministry of Health has been working with stakeholders through designing policies and programs. Representative of UNICEF to Ethiopia, Dr. Eric Elin, stated that his institution would sustain a support for breastfeeding and health care. Reverend Samson Bekele, who attended the event representing Ethiopian Orthodox Tawadu Church, revealed that breastfeeding is advisable according to the religion. Breastfeeding is a good deed which is supported by Ethiopian Orthodox Tawadu Church teachings. Hence, our church is teaching about the breastfeeding. According to Abinus Kabrizalala, though the maternal leave given to mothers during birth time has been increased to two to three months and then to four, it was asked that the situation must be facilitated for mothers at workplace for breastfeeding. Watching Open Voice for the People Now News from abroad. New South Wales drought now affects the entire state of Australia's most popular state. New South Wales is now entirely drought, office have come officials have confirmed. A dry winter has intensified what has been called the worst drought in living memory in the past of Eastern Australia. New South Wales produces about a quarter of Australia's agricultural output. It was officially listed as 100% in drought on Wednesday. Farmers have told harrowing stories of falling crops, severe water shortage are being unable to feed livestock. Some have spent up to $10,000 per truck hold of high just of to feed their animals, according to Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. Suicide rates is in rural regions are average about 40% higher than urban areas. Mental health group Sen Australia has said. BBC reported. That's it for now. Many thanks for joining us. Have a good time.